we are facing a turmoil not only in the Philippines but in the entire world. Kagaya ng mga Brazil, uh, thickly populated areas, they are scared of the third wave. Alam mo kasi, ang sekreto lang naman dito, hindi nga sekreto eh. It's really that uh, the Philippines is not an exception. We are not the favored few under this planet Earth. Ang problema is that there is once in a while in every generation there's a pandemic epidemic, national pandemic and uh, seems to be virulent and ready to take uh, this, the civilization of mankind by its nose leading us all to perdition. Ang Pilipinas kagaya ng mga Brazil and others. Uh, pero pero ang problema. And in America, uh, so surprise of uh, the surprises of uh, our times, di natin matansya kung ano talaga. Because until now, uh, the industrialized countries, those who have, uh, are not ready really to let go of their stocks of vaccine. As I have told you before, my countrymen, isa lang talaga ang katapat dito. Right at the start, I was almost melodramatic about it. And I said that there is a new virus virus coming from China or discovered from China na hindi nila makontrol. And it was not until after so many months that umpisa na yung mga vaccine lumabas. Kaya nga kulang. Kasi when you say you have a date 3 million, 300 million, 100 million, 300 million, it's 100, ano lang yan. Kasi doble ang bakuna eh. So if you need 300 million, add another 300 million. Because of the vaccines, there are two jobs. Dalawang tusukan yan. Ngayon, itong uh, atin dito, wala pa tayong nakuha except for uh, nung nakuha natin sa China. Now, uh, you know exactly what I mean kung sabihin ko nung binigay sa atin ng China. Kindly read my lips. So, mayroon tayong nakuha at may dadating pa kunti-kunti. And to maybe to our sadness, the stocks that are coming in are barely enough to inoculate the health workers. And sila man talaga ang priority. Now, when will we have that stock sufficient to vaccinate the people? I really do not know. Nobody knows. Kasi may gaya ng Brazil, there is a, they're scared of the, I said, this third wave. Nanonood ako ng CNN, dito ako sa ano eh, BBC. 
Eh, kung may reinfection, eh, di patay na. If there's a reinfection, there is no guarantee that anybody would ever be safe with or without the vaccine. So, yan ang gusto ang paabot sa mga ating kababayan. May mga iba dyan na ayaw talaga magbakuna, okay na lang yan sa akin. Uh, ang problema kung makahawa ka. The problem is being a bravado. Yung hambog. Sabihin mo, ah, eh, ayaw ko. Kasi hindi naman ako naniwala niyan. If I were to talk to you in the gutter language, sabihin ko sa iyo, putang ina mo. <clears throat> Mamatay ka na kung gusto mo, limang beses. Ang problema ang mahawa mo. Ayang ayaw pang mamatay, gusto pang magpasyar sa luneta. Ikaw, kung nagsawa ka na sa buhay, sumobra na yung pera mo, o nagkulang yung pera mo, sawa ka na talaga sa buhay na ito, gawin mo yan. Yun ang problema ang contamination. So, everybody must really, kagaya sa Brazil, bakit sila nagaganon? E, puro suplado eh. Well, kandarapa tayo dito sa Pilipinas, we were scrambling where to get the vaccine as early as yung when we constituted the task force. And we were not wanting I'd like to just uh, disabuse the mind of it, na nagkulang tayo. Wala na kayong tinig na kung hindi yung kagaguhan ninyo. Hindi tayo nagkulang. Right after the WHO advisory, the following day, I, day after, basta within two, 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 48 hours, we already had the task force. Yung task force ngayon. Ang problema, kung task force sana na may kunan, nandyan yung task force, nandyan yung mga doktor natin, nandyan yung lahat mga bright na Pilipino, pero nung sinabi ko na na may task force, ready tayo, and I am imposing the lockdowns here and there, it's because what the medical people say. Eh, Abogado naman ako, hindi naman ako doktor. Eh kung anong sabihin ni Secretary Doke, eh yun ang susunduin ko. Siya yung Secretary of Health eh. Na ngayon, hintay tayo ng hintay. Itong baksya na ito ang pinag-usapan natin ganito. Wala sana ito kung merong vaccine available. Eh wala. Hanggang ngayon, the word Unavailable is nandyan. Unavailable because there are not, uh, there's no, no, no sufficient supply to inoculate the world. Matagal pa to. Sabihin ko sa iyo, marami pang mamamatay dito. Hindi ko lang maturo kung sino. Yeah, for those people, uh, who wants me dead, magdasal kayo ng gusto. Uh, as for a COVID uh, uh, race to the 10th power, ang pagdasalin nyo. Kasi it, it, itong buhay naman, patsambahan lang eh. It's either ngayon ka, bukas ako, ngayon ako, bukas ka. Ganon lang ang laro dyan. No amount of curses, no amount of uh, epithets, yung pang ano mo, mga pagmumura mo, will save you. Whether you like it or not, the day will come when you shall have died. But in the meantime, itong kwandari natin dito, nag-aaway-aaway tayo dito, there is really no problem 
Huwag na yan masyadong ano, yung mga lack of uh, material resources, for example, the beds. Ano, nandyan yan. And we can make a go for, for as many as kailangan. You look, uh, uh, I, I can even uh, use the power of the police, uh, power of the state. Why no, no, what? I can order the uh, authorities to take over the operations of hotels kung wala na talagang mga kama. Wala na. Madali yan. Hindi talaga problema yan. Eh, kung may presidente ka na may utok, eh, kung walang utok, eh, pasensya. I am not without power. You, when we are pushed to the wall, either by 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 the microbe itself, or by uh, in external internal, I can always order the military and the police to go there and confiscate, con con confiscate the operation of the hotels, and even the medicines. I can go to the where I uh, ever uh, warehouse there and it. but that is not really a what you would call a remedy desired in a democratic state pero hindi tayo na walang ano ang bakuna talaga nakatutok tayo kay secretary ng galway yung mga report natin okay yan the things that we do to mitigate, not to aggravate, but mitigate and to lessen the, the, the impact of the pandemic on our society. Pero kung mag, ah, magsigil lang tayo dito, ano na, hindi na nga ako nagpagkapagupit to. Ano na, ang barbiro namin dito sa Barbiro namin dito sa kampo. Ayan kampo dyan sa likod. Dyan mo rin ako nagpapagupit. Eh, nag-lockdown eh. Stay where you are. So, walang movement. So, anyway, let me just, uh, we have a long, long night. Let me just say that, uh, mga kababayan, Makinig lang kayo dito because we are preparing everything. Yung, yung infrastructure. Yung organization nandiyan. Araw-araw may kinukontribute tayo. Kung anong kulang, nagdadagdag tayo. Ngayon kung sabi na oh, walang kama, then uh, I will hear uh, either Secretary Galvez or Secretary Duque. Pag sinabi na we are at a critical condition, there is no space for the doctors or the nurses to move and stay healthy. Then we begin to exercise the police power of the state to sabihin ko sa hotel, adre, pasensya ka na. Kailangan ko yung hotel mo. Iraman ko lang. And after that, I will clean it up, uh, speak and span, and, and I will decontaminate uh, everything there, uh, like, like it's to its former glory. Yan ang ano dyan. So, kayo mga kababayan ko, huwag kayong matakot dyan sa ano. Hindi naman tayo talagang walang-wala eh. We are not really at a total loss of uh, what to do. We know what to do. Ang marami lang dito is maraming maingay because maraming magpam... Well, hindi magpamarunong. Maraming marunong. And maybe uh, everybody wants to be heard. Problem is, there is no time to hear everyone. We do not have that luxury of time. So, sabihin ko sa inyo, ganito, mag-umpisa tayo ngayong gabi. Anong problema? Virus, virus, or what? Microbe. Anong solusyon? Kama, oxygen, 
Kaya gawin ng tao yan over time. Ano? Ang bakuna. Nasaan ang bakuna? Bakit? Nasaan ba siya? Kagabi. Naturukan na ba siya? Ah, ganun. Nandyan ang bakuna, hindi sa ating kamay. Sa kamay ng ibang tao. And uh, this will go, I think, uh, before it gets better, we'll have to go to the worst of times. Hindi lang ito ang ano. So, yan yan. Do not be afraid. Government is working. Government is busy doing everything, not nothing. Government is, is trying to get the things to fix all of us. Yung mga bagay ngayon, nandyan pero wala sa ating mga kamay. Anyway, so, nandito man tayo sa, we have to report to the people. Kailangan ho ninyo kami marinig. Ba't sabihin ninyo baka wala nang talagang solusyon ito? Meron na. Huwag kayo mag Eh, itong kaharap ninyo. Huwag na ako. Huwag na ako. Palaos na ako. Yan ang mga harap na sa panel. Tingnan nyo. Bright. Puro bright yan. Puro valedictor yan. Puro ano. Alam nila kung anong gawin nila. So, huwag kayong mag We choose the right people to run this government. 